Hello, there is Fimpossible Creations and it will be basic short tutorial for setting up your characters with Ragdoll Animator. Soon there will be another tutorial which will describe a bit more about this plugin. Let's go! So let's start with some generic rig. I will add Ragdoll Animator to the object. We need to define bones but I will use here auto detection and it looks we just need to correct the chest bone. So let's do it, let's find it in the Kyra key. And let's enter play mode. But well, there is nothing happening. That's because we need to generate ragdoll first. So let's do it, let's adjust the colliders. You can do it with the scene handles. Adjust position and scale, also with a symmetrical feature. When everything is done, you can enter play mode and now it should work. Yeah. This is just tutorial for the setting up of the Ragdoll Animator to work. So if you want to know a bit more about the features, please check the demo scenes. Now let's set up Ragdoll Animator with this model and it's humanoid so the bones are assigned automatically. But you see yellow handles on the chest so I corrected it. I generate the Ragdoll and enter play mode. But there's nothing going on again. But you see the log, which says that there is some problem with the root bone, so let's assign it manually. And it needs to be first bone of the whole skeleton. Now let's enter play mode and it works. Now let's set up Ragdoll Animator on the a bit weird skeleton, like this alien. First let's correct the chest. And you see that there is something weird with the arms and with the legs. First let's fix legs. And for skeleton like this you just need to assign a child bone of a knee. Sometimes you will not need to do this but here it should work correctly. Now let's go with arms. And this model have a lot of shoulder bones. But we need only two bones for the arms so let's fix it. Just try to search the correct ones. Now let's generate Ragdoll. Adjust it a bit. Enter play mode. And well, it works. But it seems there is need a bit of adjustments for the physical parameters in a rigid body, like mass and other. These values sometimes can change a lot, so I recommend to play with them. Now let's do setup on this model. Auto detection found all bones without a problem. Let's generate ragdoll. You of course would like to adjust the colliders to be more precise. Let's do setup on this model. Let's correct the chest bone. This model have multiple bones in a knee bone and gizmos are drawing just first child but let's check if ragdoll generator will create colliders correctly yeah so let's adjust the scale oh head head needs to be adjusted let's position okay and nothing is happening and that's probably because this character have a lot of mesh inside and an automatic detection for root bone was assigned wrong so let's assign root bone manually and it works and last model which is humanoid everything was assigned correctly sometimes you don't need to correct the chest bone with this model this setup just works oh yeah I've forgotten about generating colliders with ragdoll generator and it works. Alright, so that's all. I hope this video was helpful for you. Thank you for supporting my work by buying this plugin. If you have some more questions feel free to ask on a discord or write to my mail. It is inside the readme file in Ragdoll Animator package. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.